Welcome to Everyday Photography. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be doing a camera lens review. And this is going to follow on my E series lens review, so this is going to be the next one in line. Uh, this one's going to be a prime lens, which means it's going to be a fixed distance for the focal distance. And uh, this one is another inexpensive lens that you can get. You could probably get it for $70 or $80 used on eBay. It is a manual focus lens from the E-Series group. It is the 100mm f2.8 Nikon E-Series lens. So it's got a really sharp glass. It's a pretty compact lens for a 100mm lens to be able to be this small. It's pretty nice. So it's an E-series, which means economy. So um, it was a less expensive lens when it came out, less expensive when you buy it used now. It's got a really nice short zoom that you can use uh, for the, the focal distance, I mean, not zoom. Um, and what you're gonna find is that this lens takes really sharp photos. So I really wasn't gonna believe it at first. So when I first got this lens, I picked it up from a pawn shop of all places. Uh, my dad did actually, he sent me a picture of it and I was like, oh, I've never seen that lens before. Why don't you go ahead and buy it? I think it was uh, 60 or $70 and, and I'm like, took a chance. I'll go ahead and get it. Um, it. You'll see it's got the cheaper body style. So a lot of this is plastic. Um, it does have the external aperture ring. So if you wanna be able to do it manually on here, you can. Um, the lens itself, uh, it's after the AIS lenses, which is why it's got that little divot that you'll see. Uh, if I could aim this right at the camera. So right here, it's got the little divot, so you know that uh, it's a little bit better with the shutter priority than the older AI lenses. This is um, going to be more like an AIS lens, um, but it doesn't have the screw drive on here for the motor. And um, this lens takes really good photos. I was using this at a car show that I went to recently um, that was up in Connecticut and West Hartford. And one thing I noticed is that I was able to get some really cool pictures with this. It gave me different perspective, gave me some pretty good compression, not a ton of compression, but it gave me nice colors. It gave me really good um, bokeh in the background. It, it wasn't a strong bokeh that is, stands out to be you know, crazy, like blurred out background and, and everything's got the swirls. This was more of the subtle bokeh like it's in focus on whatever I aimed on, and then as you get farther away, it would have a, um, a blurred out effect to it. So I really thought this was a really cool lens. Um, it's one of my more favorite lenses I have, believe it or not, for being a pretty inexpensive lens. Um, take a look at the photos and definitely let me know what you think, but I would highly suggest if you can pick up this lens, get one for cheap, um, and then use it and tell me what you think. Show me some of the pictures you took with it and see how they came out. Have a great day.